in this video, I will let you know how to make your own wireless video streaming device in which you can stream that live video over internet from anywhere in this world using the ESP32 cam board or ESPI board and Blink ID platform. Let's get started. So this is basically converting my previous project in which I was able to stream the live video within the local area network to make that accessible over internet so that I can stream that live video from anywhere in this world. So if you haven't watched that previous video, I will suggest you to watch out that video so that you don't miss out anything. So now inside the code, you just need to enter the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router. After that, in case you are using the ESPI board, you have to uncomment this line. And in case you are using the ESP32 CAM board, you have to uncomment this line. That's it. After that, just upload this code onto your ESP board. Okay, so the code is uploaded. Let us open the serial monitor. Here, as you can see, the board got connected to the Wi-Fi router and it even got its own local IP address. So here, if I go to this local IP address slash mjpeg slash one, as you can see, I'm able to stream the live video here. But this will only work when my ESP camera and the laptop are connected with the same Wi-Fi router. Now let's just try to make this project work over internet. For that, you have to perform a couple of steps on your Windows or Mac or Linux based computer. Currently, I'm using my Raspberry Pi 4B board for this project. So let's have a look over the steps to be performed. So first, you need to go to one website called Angrock or maybe Angrock, whatever. Here, you need to make an account and after that, log into that account. After you log into your account, you need to download a file according to your system. In my case, as I'm using the Raspberry Pi board, I will download this Linux ARM version. After that, open up the terminal. Now go to the folder where you have downloaded this file. In my case, the file is in downloads folder. Now enter this command to unzip that file. After that, you have to enter this command which will store your unique API key into your system. So that's it. This was all about the configuration which you can perform within two minutes. So that was the clip from my previous video which was basically about getting started with Angrock and well I also discussed many things around it. So I'll recommend you to watch out that video so that you don't miss out anything. Okay so now we are just one command away from making this project work over internet. So let's see what that command is. For that first of all you need to copy that local IP address assigned to your board. After that go back to the terminal of the system in which you have installed Angrock. Here just type this command and paste this local IP address here. Now press enter and you are done. Now we can live stream the video using this link. Let me just copy it. I'll go back to the web browser. First of all, I'll disconnect my computer from the router and connect it with my iPhone. Now let's go to this link slash mjpeg slash one. As you can see, I'm able to stream live video from my ESPI board, but this time it's over internet. Isn't it the simple yet super project to make? Now you can make the same project using your Blink IT platform as well. Just open up the Blink app and create a new project. After that, just tap on the screen and add this video stream widget. Now tap on the widget and paste that same link here. That's it. Now just click on the play button. So as you can see, I'm able to stream the live video from ESPI board onto my Blink IoT platform over internet. Now that's an actual CCTV camera which you can make it by yourself. So do make and share your project which you can convert from LAN to WAN using this technique. And don't forget to add the hashtag LAN to WAN while publishing your video onto your social media handle as I'll be sharing all those videos, all that project with the hashtag LAN to WAN on my social media handle. Okay, so now just stay tuned, like this video, subscribe the channel if you haven't and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.